All right, Becca, thank you. It's 533 this morning. The search continues for Bailey Middle School student Madalena Kojakari. Today is actually her 12th birthday. Yes, and she was last seen on a school bus. That's the footage you're looking at here. This was in Cornelius back on November 21st of last year. Her parents didn't report her missing until December 15th, so weeks after this video was recorded. Law enforcement and the Cornelius community have not lost hope. Today they are honoring her and pushing forward the search in a very special way. Our Mary Calkins joins us live from the Cornelius Police Department. Mary, tell us what's happening today. Well, Alex, just like you said, today is Madalena's 12th birthday, and the Cornelius Police Department is hosting a vigil here later today, not just to mark the occasion, but also really to push uh, this search forward. Now, Diana Kojakari and Christopher Palmeter are both behind bars this morning after failing to report Madalena missing. I went to Madalena's neighborhood to see how her neighbors are honoring the 12-year-old girl. Yellow ribbons covered rows of mailboxes, and neighbors wrapped the pillars at her house in yellow ribbon. Others left gifts for her, like flowers and a teddy bear. Madalena's neighbors say this has been a difficult time, but they have not lost hope that Madalena will return safely. Now, last month, we reported that documents revealed her mother, Diana, contacted a relative asking him to, quote, smuggle her and Madalena away. One neighbor I spoke with in the Victoria Bay neighborhood tells me he is praying for the entire family. Well, we're praying that she's safe and uh, that she's alive and well. Um, we're praying that um, any, anything that has been done to her will be called into account and uh, that, the, that whoever is involved in this will, will have justice. But we're also praying for them as well because they have a lot to answer for and they're going to need God's help. The vigil is happening here at 6 p.m. and WBTV will have a crew bringing you live coverage this evening. But for now, reporting live in Cornelius, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side.